Joe with the Idaho Prepper Channel. So uh, today I thought I'd show you some of the additions that I made to my prepping pantry or my survival pantry. Uh, one of the main additions that I've uh, included is this gun cabinet here. So I don't know if you remember from my first videos, um, this area I just kind of kept, kept the bug out bags uh, just kind of hanging. And so it wasn't really that functional. So I ended up moving all of my bug out bags to the, uh, the garage and I'll, I'll show you how, how I have them set up in there. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, resituate the camera so you can see uh, the inside of this cabinet. All right, stay tuned. This should be a good one. All right, so before uh, I open up the cabinet, I'll just show you some of the things I have on the outside. I just kind of just threw these in here just to... Um, you know, maximize the amount of space that I have in here. But uh, right here, I just have my uh, chest pack that I keep uh, with my bug out bag system hanging right here. And then this here is actually my get home bag. I usually keep it in my truck, but sometimes I'll take it out uh, just to kind of um, uh, replenish it and stuff like that. But um, that's pretty much how I have it on the outside. And then obviously right over here is uh, the pantry itself where I have all my food and I just ended up topping off the five gallon buckets so was about four, four or five short. So it's just rice and flour. Um, so I got those filled up, but anyways, that's what that looks like. Yeah, it's starting to overflow <laughs> running out of room, but, uh, all right. So go ahead and show you the inside here. Obviously this is just a wooden cabinet. I mean, it is hell for strong. It's, um, I made it out of three quarter ply and two by four construction. Um, so obviously it's not gonna stop somebody who's just determined to get in here, but um, that wasn't really the idea is to make like a hard and safe. Uh, this is just to basically keep um, uh, mainly my kids out and uh, people just from being readily able to access um, some, of my, some of my rifles. So just a basic standard lock here. And as you can see in the inside, I just have it set up kind of almost like just like my Minuteman gear is in here. Um, you know, stuff that I would take kind of in a moment's notice. So I have my chest rig here um, with the, my mags in it. Uh, I got my two AR platforms. I keep uh, two other rifles on the side here. Um, one's just a hunting rifle, and the other is just my 1022. Uh, have a, uh, click it down here. Have a, um, my pistol here. This is a battle belt right here, and uh, some extra mags. And then down, down low there is um, uh, just ammunition. So, yeah, just got it set up with pretty much the basics. So, it was nice to finally get this stuff out of the way. And then obviously here I got a uh, just an IFAC. This is my Minuteman Medic. Uh, I'll make sure to leave links in the description for uh, whatever I show in the video today. But um, that's pretty much that. And then I keep a uh, put a light up there so you can I can kind of see what I'm doing when I come here. It's dark or the power goes out. So it's just a battery battery operated light. All right, so um, on this side of the pantry, this is basically just opposite of where the uh, five gallon buckets were. Uh, it's kind of my admin, kind of a work area. Um, I can kind of clean my rifles and my pistols right here. Uh, I have my Baofeng radio uh, charging. This is just a scanner. Um, I can also get the weather on here, um, but this, it's kind of like a charging station. Um, I just added one of these plug panels up here so I can plug in multiple devices at once. Um, so, for instance, if I have to charge flash, flashlights and radios, I can just do everything right in here. Um, also, <clears throat> I put, uh, where is it? I put the uh, battery little hit, uh, they're called puck lights, and you just stick them. But um, I kind of like these because in case there's like a power outage and I need to come down here and get certain supplies, I have the option of lighting this area up with, um, with battery operated lights. So, um, in case there's a power outage, it won't be, at, you know, the room in here won't be at the effect of it totally. Um, 
up here I keep my colloidal silver kit it's just basically everything I need to make for uh, or everything I need to make colloidal silver um, then here is a bunch of pre-made colloidal silver ready to go uh, this is just some totes with canning supplies and then obviously here I have the uh, some mason jars for canning my wife does a lot of canning um, and then over here I have some egg crates but this is like here I'll move it up a little bit but this is like nothing compared to the egg crates we have I have um, almost like a hundred of them so uh, we have a lot of chickens um, as of right now and so we're going to be producing pretty soon here um, the new flock we're going to be producing two dozen eggs a day so it's a lot of eggs but um, we end up it does well because we sell all the eggs here a lot of people in the area that um, like especially free range organic free range eggs we get a good chunk of money for them so it's a good it's a good way to um, uh, just make some side money or where, where the term comes or egg money <laughs> so um, next to this here is my first aid stuff um, in this tote right here I just have a ton of different first aid supplies there's uh, hydrogen peroxide alcohol stethoscopes bandages um, all that kind of stuff and then right here believe it or not this is like a uh, like a canvas stretcher so if somebody's down you need to transport somebody you basically put them on this and uh probably like four guys or three guys could uh, carry them out and then to the left of that i have <clears throat> uh, this is my jace medical kit with uh, the antibiotics and then here uh, is a uh, survival medicine handbook um, I just did a short video on these two things, but they're just kind of key things to have uh, for any type of prepping medical related um, kit that you might be putting together. Uh, but everything you need to know, this book centers around uh, how to treat um, wounds and address any medical situation during an SHTF or, you know, when you don't have access to hospital. So really good book to have. I'll make sure to leave links in the description for that. Um, and then some other kind of survival uh, related books. This is just, a, this is a great kind of survival book here. Kind of, my daughter loves this book because there's just lots of pictures, but it tells you how to pretty much do everything. Build shelters, uh, tie knots, how to process game, how to cure game. Um, yeah, lots of different ways to build shelters. Uh, there's chapters in here on how, like, what, how to identify birds and like animal tracks um, to uh, to uh, different medicinal herbs that you might come across um, in the wilderness. Uh, got the SAS uh, survival handbook here, and just you know more more medical type books uh, right there. And then moving over here, got another basic little first aid kit. And then here's just kind of some basic hygiene stuff um, and household cleaning stuff. So we have like wipes, just house stuff, um, uh, trash bags, stuff like that. So nothing that interesting. Um, over here, I have a uh, battery, battery operator. This is actually rechargeable battery, but um, I got this from Costco and it just will light up a whole room so i keep this here in case there's a power outage it'll just light up a whole room and then moving up here i actually just keep that 12 gauge here uh for turkey hunting because in case the turkeys end up on the property i can just access it really quick and then uh let's see i guess i'll just put the camera up here but i have my food saver uh there's a canner uh, up there that's a food dehydrator and then there's my meat grinder that's a pressure canner and I got a meat slicer and then this is all my stuff for storing food so my iron for sealing the mylar bags and uh, the mylar bags <laughs> themselves oxygen absorbers all that stuff and then over there is a big blender I keep and I use that 
Um, that blender is actually specifically for uh, making uh, my laundry detergent. So pretty much everything in here is, is totally prepping related. Um, and then over here, I have my box freezer. Um, it's almost full, not quite full, but um, yeah, I just keep our basic meats in there. Um, over, all right. Over here is just my gun cleaning supplies. So I got ballastol, a lot of cleaning, you know, just all my stuff to clean rifles. I pretty much do it in here. Um, and then right over here is just um, like miscellaneous, a lot of miscellaneous, like electrical, like chargers, stuff like that. But mostly everything in here is for my, uh, for all my comms, so all my Baofeng radios and two-way radios are pretty much in there. I got some spare cell phones in there and stuff like that. Um, and then over here, this is just kind of a miscellaneous bucket of different prepping prepping items. So I have some extra filters for our, um, for our gravity-fed water filter upstairs. Um, I have some, oh, I have like paracord, all that kind of stuff. There's tape. Um, stuff like that. And then right here, this is all batteries. So that's just packed full of batteries. And then this here, and this is kind of a whole nother story, uh, or taps into a whole nother story, but this is a, uh, a Sawyer, a mini Sawyer water filter, which I got. So I did a job, I did a job this week and, um, it, the, the people were kind of dissolving their relationship it was kind of one of those jobs and um they were pretty much just liquidating i mean almost most of the stuff that i got for free and i'll probably do a video on that and show you how much stuff i got for free it's crazy and then um one of the things that i got which i'm just super excited about is a log splitter i didn't get it for free i had to work I did about a day and a half of work for that, but uh, it was like a brand new wood splitter, 27 ton wood splitter. So um, yeah, I'm just excited about that, but uh, definitely make a video <laughs> about that. Okay, so moving over, this is pretty much the tail end of the pantry here, but um, this actually is a, uh, is kind of like, it's like a bug out tote for the kids. So I keep, I keep a bunch of stuff in case you know we all have to evacuate the house as a family um, I have a lot of stuff in here there's like coloring books for the kids uh, extra change of clothes for all three kids with their with their uh, backpacks and uh, there's water and food and um, all kinds of stuff to kind of keep them busy in case of emergency if uh, while we're on the road um, over here is just some some like orange juice, different juices, stuff like that. Got some organic protein powder, case of top ramen. That's uh, applesauce for the kids. Um, like I said, I mean, this is like a working, it's a working pantry. So most of the stuff we eat on a daily basis. Um, so I'll keep a bunch of macaroni and cheese, stuff like that. Uh, a bunch of coffee, and although I'm running low on coffee, I usually keep like three or four of these at one time. And then we have, this is actually all tea, like green tea. And then um, all this back here, or a lot of it is just spices. So like pepper, salt, um, gar garlic powder, stuff like that. And then up above, I have hot chocolate. And then it's just kind of getting into more of the cases of food. Uh, but there's just like, Cases of tomatoes, corn, beans, um, olives, Campbell's soup, chicken broth, just a ton of stuff. I have um, a bunch of pineapples. There's a lot of canned fruit up there as well. And then, believe it or not, behind behind all that is uh, just, there's two, well, yeah, about two more rows um, of all my freeze-dried fruit all my freeze-dried food so I have cases of number 10 cans of like mountain house and um and food that I got from uh LDS 
from the LDS canning canning uh, company. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I'm trying to think if there's anything I missed here. Um, oh yeah, and then under here, kind of run a little low, but I usually keep underneath the uh, workbench here. I'll keep this, this is usually all water and uh, toilet paper. So I'm about one case of toilet paper short from what I usually like to keep on hand. Um, and I'm really short on bottled water. Although bottled water isn't really something that um, I store from a prepping standpoint, although I should, um, especially, in, you know, in the winter time. Um, we do have a creek, we have a well, and um, we have a lot of different means of like accessing water. We actually have a water catchment system on our back garage. Um, so we have like three other, three different ways of, uh, getting water and we have a generator in case the power goes down and the well isn't working. We have a generator, which will kick the well back on and we'll still be able to access water. So it's just, the water thing isn't, it isn't something I'm too, too worried about. So I don't usually, um, store it, you know, in a, in bottle form. So, okay. So now I'm in my garage and we're looking back towards the pantry. Um, but like I said, um, I ended up putting our bug out bags on this side of the wall. So uh, kind of the idea as a family, if there's an emergency, like say there's a fire, um, our, our plan, or the outline of our plan is we would come out um, once everybody is, you know, once we have everybody, we come through here, this whole corridor is basically has everything that we would need to get out in a hurry. So the first thing we would access is like, we have cash on hand and then all of our sentimental stuff, uh, like pictures and family heirlooms and stuff like that is in a safe. We would access that. Then we come in here, we take whatever, we take the, uh, our bug out bags. We take the, um, the bug out tote that I showed you, whatever food we need and then uh, my rifles and stuff like that. And then the last thing we grab would be our bug out bags and then everything because the car backs up into this garage, everything would just go straight into the back of the trunk and we'd be out of here. So um, I've timed it before. We, I could pretty much get the whole family out with all of our clothes and everything we need um, under five minutes. So uh, it just makes for basically a really fast, exit exit strategy so. all right you guys i hope you enjoyed the video like i said um, i'll make sure to leave links in the description uh, for some of the stuff that i showed you on this video and um, if you haven't done so already please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna make sure to try and uh get some more videos out i know i've been uh slow on getting vi videos out lately it's only because this is my busy season i'm you know i'm a painting contractor by trade so i mean i'm just buried with uh with work right now which is a good thing but it just uh makes it really difficult to get videos out so uh but i'm gonna I'll make an effort to try and get some uh and hopefully get some camping videos um out here soon because uh, i really enjoy doing those but um anyways until the next time you guys stay prepared